guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames and we're back with another banging video guys because the media is playing with miss dunda's son and i'm not gonna allow them to do that not on my watch honey not on my watch because we know the media is laced with lies filled with fallacies filled with character assassination that's all they do they have tossed journalism out the window democracy is dying in darkness and it has been replaced with fallacies like every media outlet is accusing Ye of being anti-semitic at his um las vegas after party and not one of them can tell you exactly what he said that was hateful. Because remember, anti-Semitism, the meaning, and I'm going to keep saying it because it's true, the meaning of anti-Semitism was changed on November 22nd of 2022 to reflect the Jewish community only. Before that, it meant any hate speech or discrimination towards a group or race. But since November tw um, 2nd of 2022, they have changed it and it now reflects the Jewish community only to hell with everyone else because your race, your group, your class, your color, your creed does not matter unless you're Jewish. That's basically what is happening in America. And that's not anti-Semitic because you know what? There is a law that they want to pass and you guys can follow Amanda Seals on Instagram to learn more about this. I'm not making this up. And the things that Ye is saying, Ye is not making them up. If it's being made up, it's not by Ye, it is not by me, it is by someone else. So they need to get to the root of this ish and stop attacking this man and accusing him of anti-Semitism because he's just repeating what numerous media outlets outside of the United States are publishing. Guys, go follow Amanda Seals again. I will say to you guys, one of the most recent articles that I've seen that is, that is, you know, they say that they're exposing America, proving that the Jewish community owns, operates, organizes, and funds every institution in America. One of those most recent articles was published by the Mexican government. That article is in my DM right now. If y'all should message me on Instagram, I could forward it to you. But I chose not to comment on the article because I know that once you say Jewish community, people are going to say you're hateful, even when you're not saying anything bad or unpleasant. That's just how it is going now. And now we see the media is doing it to Ye again. They're saying that, you know, Early in West Rant, the rapper lashed out against Jewish people, saying he didn't want to hear any Jewish people claiming he was having a mental episode before criticizing several people who had ish to say about the strings of anti-Semitic comments he made last year that resulted in Adidas dropping their partnership with him. Now I want to ask, what is so wrong with Ye saying that he doesn't want anyone to claim that he's having a mental breakdown. What is wrong with him saying that? That's not hateful. Because think about it. These are statements and comments that we make every day. It's like our self-defense statement. You are going to say to someone, listen, I'm going to speak my mind, but not because I'm speaking my mind. It doesn't mean that I want you or anyone else in this company, school, corporation, or organization to think that I'm crazy. That's what he's saying. There are so many times that I make videos and I say, listen, I'm going to say this. And it may sound crazy to y'all on social media. But I don't want you guys here on the internet to think I'm crazy, okay? 
That's the equivalent of what Ye is saying because he knows that he's been heavily attacked by the Jewish community. And there's evidence of it on the internet. The Jewish community has been attacking him, labeling him, labeling him, calling him a madman, calling him crazy for over one year. Is the Jewish community the only one doing it? No, the black community does it as well. <laughs> Our dear lighter, brighter, <laughs> the white folks do it as well. But it is heavily done by the Jewish community. And we know that Ari Emanuel wrote a letter to the media outlets telling them, telling the companies to cut ties with him. Do you think that he's going to get over that like in one year? Like what the hell? Do y'all don't realize and understand that this man has feelings too? Like fucking hell, blood run through his veins. How the heck are you going to call someone anti-Semitic for saying, I don't want you people to think I'm crazy and don't say I need to get medicated because I don't want you to um, say I'm crazy because I'm talking about these things. Like, how the heck do you boil that down to him being hateful? That's self-defense. He was not promoting any hate in that moment because he knows that once he says something, the first thing that the internet is going to go off to say is that his meds needs to be adjusted. He needs to be institutionalized. He needs to be heavily medicated. And then the media, which is controlled by mostly who, and so many content creators has, have proven that who controls the media. So many other people came out and proved who controls the music industry. Why is it that the media consistently picks on Ye tell lies on him, create false narrative about him. But then when it comes to their turn to take the blunt and the load of their blame for the ish that they have done to him and been doing to him, everyone turn away as though they saw nothing. Like nothing happened here. It's just another day of par in paradise. We, we didn't do anything. We didn't say anything about this. Like how the like, how the heck do you even think that's even fair to begin with? The Jewish community has been attacking this man repeatedly, back to back, over one year. It is to the point where the internet is standing 10 toes down behind him. And remember, people are telling you that I don't agree with Ye. I don't like Ye, but I'm tired of the Jewish community attacking Ye. I see these comments on the internet every day and I share them with you all. I screenshot these comments because people have grown so accustomed to the media outlets spewing lies. They have seen, you know, prominent Jewish leaders, members going after him, talking about him consistently even when he is like quiet, silent, when he's incognito, even when the guy is incognito, they're making up stories about him. And y'all think that it is okay. Y'all think that he doesn't have feelings. He's not going to say something at some point in time in his defense. And when he does say something in his defense, you're going to say that he's anti-Semitic because he's saying he doesn't want Jewish people to criticize him and say that he's crazy. Like, how the heck do you all even muster up the strength, the emotion to write such article on someone's child, a human being? We're not talking about a robot. This is not an AI. This is a person. The media keeps going after this one man, one man for over one year. The Jewish community keeps going after this one man, one man, one man, not a family, you know, one man. They're going after this one individual over one year. And the very first time he speak in his defense, saying that he doesn't want anyone to be calling him crazy. He doesn't want the Jewish community to be calling him crazy. Y'all are labeling him anti-Semitic? What about the media? 
the media outlets that is owned by specific Jewish members that have been telling lies on him repeatedly, that has been telling lies on his wife repeatedly. Why not address those? Why is it that when Harley Pasternak threatened to have him institutionalized to the point of a zombie, why isn't the media promoting and begging for the FBI to have Pasternak investigated why is it that everyone is playing a mannequin challenge on someone threatening someone's health but the hell the media wants to call him anti-semitic for saying something that is being published by other media outlets that is being published and shared repeatedly on instagram why is it that no one is going after anyone else why do they keep going after you? Like, what did Ye take from y'all? I'm curious. Y'all want him to left Kim, he left Kim. Y'all hated a black billionaire that was clean, that was not raping and drugging women because he was not raping and drugging women. He was not being y'all mule. So y'all didn't like him. His record is too clean. It is too perfect. How dare you be a black billionaire with such a clean slate? So you all had to do something. You all had to, you know, join in your efforts together to dehumanize him, to demonize him. And even when you've done that and he's taken it and he's walking with it and he's surviving and he's striving, y'all are still not happy. You motherfuckers will never be happy until he's dead. And even when he's dead, y'all are still not going to be happy because guess what? You see, if Ye dies tomorrow, he will be stronger in death than he is in life. And y'all don't even understand what that means. And y'all not even ready to deal with that. Every time you try to come after this man, guess what? God lifts him up 10 feet higher. And y'all still not learning. Every time you come after this man, God expose you all. And y'all are still not learning. You try to take away everything from him. And then you use him to make money to put in your pockets. But every time he's supposed to make money to put into his pocket, you want to block that opportunity from him. A shift is going to happen. And... Because people are not learning not to mess with Dunder's son. And they are already getting a taste of their own medicine and they're not liking it. So if y'all can't learn the easy way, y'all are going to learn the hard way. Because karma has been balancing the scale. And karma has been balancing the scale like none other. But y'all ain't learning. Y'all ain't taking notes because y'all are too busy playing God. But listen, <laughs> God is not ready for you all. Because when he's ready, he's going to show you all there's only one true and living God. Not the wannabe, you know, men on earth who are playing God. Like there's one true supreme being. It doesn't matter the name or title that you're going to give to him. There's only one God. And you all are playing so high that you can't even see that. He has been sending signs. Y'all can't even see that. Because you think that you've been doing so much to him and you've been getting away with it. And you're not going to get away. Because every time you go after him, the internet supports him more. The internet goes harder to expose y'all. Y'all need to leave this man alone. This is just one man that you all keep going after for whatever reason. I don't know. What did this man take from you all? You took everything from him and he's still living. He's still thriving. People are loving him even more. Don't you guys get it? It's best you leave him alone because if you leave him alone, things will go back to normal. But the more you try to dismantle him is the more that God lifts him up. The people lifts him up. The people praise him. At this point, the man is even being compared to God because y'all are forcing people 
to look at him this way. Y'all are going to have people bowing down at his feet very soon. Not because they want to, but because that's how you're going to force people to see this man as God. When he is not because of the nonsense that you're doing to him, the lies you're telling on him, and how much you guys keep attacking him. Leave this man alone. He deserves peace. He hasn't committed any crime. He's able to speak freely and he did not make any hate speech against the Jewish community. Y'all can say he has his information wrong or he's a bit misguided, but he was never hateful in his statement. Guys, sometimes my videos, they're going to have to be what they're what they are, okay? Because sometimes we cannot pretty things up. Sometimes we're going to have to go after people. We're going to have to ruffle those feathers because, like, enough. This is just too darn much. And I don't give a rat's ass who want to feel heard about my statement because the fact of the matter is who is sitting down to pay attention to the fact that there is millions there are millions of people attacking one man for over a year and they expect him to just sit silent not say anything and the moment he said something he's being accused of being hateful when he did not say anything hateful so guys that's just all the cookie crumbles for this video let me know what are your thoughts see you all later or maybe not peace